if you don't subscribe my channel yet please subscribe and press the bell icon for upcoming videos start expand microsoft office 2013 click on access 2013 blank desktop database okay now name the database my database name is um, database name is connect uh, visual studio underscore db now click on create yes now the database is created click on design um, table name name the table table name is user info underscore tab and click on ok ok now uh, first uh, column is id and second column is name third column is address and fourth column is city this table i will use uh, to connect uh, and insert records in the access database and then i will connect it to the visual uh, studio using bb.net okay now i am just uh, inserting some records uh, to, uh, to display um, in design in this form using bb.net so id auto incremental id 1 name sandy address atlanta USA city atlanta is 25 and sex female and the second record is uh, id 2 it's auto incremental name swift uh, address Denver US city Denver and as 35 mil sex mil okay now I start visual studio click on new project click on windows visual basic windows from application uh, my application name just name the application application name is connect SCDB in BS visual studio underscore project click on ok now my project is created Okay, now I'm gonna design this form with uh, a button control and level control. This level for used uh, as for title and a data grid view control to display records in the data grid view heard I inserted in the uh, access database table. Okay, now title uh, title is a load data from data grid view access database. Okay. Change the font size uh, 18. Okay, now it's looking nice. Change the back color of this form. Yes, green. Now it's looking nice. Okay. Now change the text of this button. Button text is load. And uh, change the font size of this button. Text 12. Okay. Now it's nice. Double click to go to the button click event yes this is the button click event here i will write code to connect access database in visual studio using bb.net now i'm gonna connecting with the access database where i click connect microsoft access database file select microsoft access database file and then click on ok now the database file name just browse my database is saved in the my documents folder yes connect visual studio underscore db dot sscdb you must close this file first to connect with the Visual Studio. Okay. Now I will show how to use password at the end of this tutorial. Now I am just skipping this password. Okay. Now it's connected with the Visual Studio. Now I'll uh, connect to the project. Here is the column, and uh, see that these are the records what I inserted in the database table access database table where i will write uh, i'm writing code to display records in the data grid view with connecting the access database table using con as neo oledb connection uh, okay oledb connection this uh, you should import system dot data dot oledb okay it's imported now i am just uh, writing connection connection is just right right click the database and click on property here you can see the connection string just copy this connection string and paste yes now it's connected with the uh, with this project now add using cmd using command uh, command as new oledb command 
okay my command is uh, I am just uh, writing command to display records in the data grid view so my command is select star from user info underscore tab okay and call the co connection con now command is done now I am going to declaring the data adapter dim da as new oledb data adapter command cmd now I am declaring a data table dim dt as new data table ok da dot fill dt I am just filling the records in the dt data table finally and data git view one the data choose equal to dt okay it's done now debug load yes all the records what I inserted in the access database displaying in the data grid view see that now open the Microsoft Office don't okay now I'm gonna insert one more records in the access database the third record is Trump address New York and city New York is 55 and sex mail I'm just inserting this record in the uh, database access database and uh, it's displaying in the Windows form so it's successfully connected with the access database okay encrypting access database with password what I have uh, to do the dial in the display uh, password in the end of this tutorial so now I'm gonna creating a new database okay uh, my existing database is connect visual studio underscore dbs tv open exclusive you must open it with exclusive click ok yes it's open now encrypt with password close the open connection passed okay uh, you should close the open connection I mean you should close the open ac uh, of uh, office access now open this file computer browse yes document my yes, select the access data file open exclusive yes it's open now for click on file encrypt with password yes now put password I just put uh, password and verify password I mean same confirm password and keep to the block chapter imprint just uh, read this message okay now click on load see that not a valid password now its connection string is changed so now you should uh, delete the connection and connect again with the password change Microsoft access database file click on ok browse and select the file ok now username is admin and password is uh, what password you set just click the password uh, to connect to the database yes test connection succeeded click on ok ok now retrieve data yes record is displaying and now you should add password username and password in that case jet oledb just add this code in the connection string jet oledb colon database password is swift one two three what i what password i have set 
Yes, now it's working.